we are going to London. It says it's 52. Oh, fuck me. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 5. Today is an exciting day. As you can see by the title, we are going to London tomorrow. Literally, I'm leaving tomorrow night. This is also me exposing myself. I have been pre-filming Vlogmas, but I simply would not do Vlogmas if I were literally filming and editing the next day and whatever. It just wouldn't happen, but I wanted to participate. So I'm doing my own version. I know some people get mad when people like pre-film Vlogmas, but I feel like it's the same thing. You're getting a video every single day. So whatever. I have been pre-filming a little bit, especially because I'm going to London tomorrow. So I'm going to be in London the first few days of Vlogmas, the first four days. I want to enjoy my trip while I'm there. So I pre-filmed some stuff to go up while I'm in London so I'm not like scrambling, editing, and not enjoying my time there. Because I've never been to London. I am so excited. We'll chat more about the trip and everything in a little bit. But as of right now, I have not packed a single thing. I have not thought of a single outfit that I'm going to wear. I really haven't done anything. It's currently 1.32 the day before I'm leaving. Thank God my flight is late tomorrow. It's at 10 20 p.m. So we definitely have time. I know I'll get everything done, but so far today I have just been editing Vlogmas. So I've been doing that all morning and just finished another video. So I feel really good now. I also have been having maintenance come all morning long because my heat is broken in my apartment. Literally every winter this happens to me. I don't know what's going on, but it's literally freezing. I had two postmates a space heater yesterday it's been a nightmare i've been freezing i'm sick because i've gotten a cold from being in the cold so it's just been so much fun that has been what my day has consisted of so far just wanted to come say hi start this vlog i'm gonna jump in the shower right now just take a little body shower regroup make myself feel good and then we are going to clean my closet and get to packing baby i am so excited to go to london this is gonna be so fun we'll talk about the trip in a bit but first i'm gonna shower and then i'll be back okay it literally feels like it is midnight now because the sun is setting it's 4 20 i hate this part of winter it makes me so upset but it's been a minute since we last talked because i showered changed and then i heard a knock on my door and my maintenance man just showed up and he was supposed to come tomorrow but he decided to just come today to get my heat fixed and he fixed it he's such a king so now it's a beautiful day for me i have heat i am no longer freezing things are looking up and we need to start packing for this freaking trip because i'm actually getting very stressed that not a single thing is in my suitcase actually my suitcase is currently filled with things that i brought home from my parents house the last time that i went i went and grabbed like all of my fall winter clothes that were there so it's already filled i need to unpack it to repack it but first we're gonna do some skincare i was gonna do my makeup and like make myself look presentable for you guys but honestly i really don't feel like putting makeup on my face i don't know why lately i have been hating the way that makeup feels on my skin i feel like i go through phases like that where my skin just gets so irritated when I have makeup on. So I decided I'm going to let it breathe tonight. I'm going to show you guys the situation that is my closet. It's actually embarrassing. I feel like every time I show you guys my closet, it looks like a freaking bomb went off in here. And I don't understand how that happens. It also isn't always like this. Can I just say? I go very long periods of time with it being clean. But every time that I need to like do something, it's just a mess. My only explanation is that I got ready in here to go out the other night and I also went shopping and I also am going to stop making excuses and just get to the damn point. Okay, this is my closet. Here she is. Yeah, I like really can't even walk in here. It's actually the worst it's been in a long time. So this is not great. This is really not great. First things first, you guys want to see what I bought at Anthropology yesterday? <laughs> I went into Anthro and honestly, I got some cute things. Let me just show you. I need to go out here because I got a candle. It's in my living room. It's so good. I really need to stop shopping. I've been really going crazy with the shopping lately. And I'm sure it's just going to get worse in London. But it's okay. It's, it's fine. I just tell myself every dollar I spend, I make it back like times 10 or whatever that saying is. 
here we go first i got this candle which is literally my new favorite candle that i own it smells amazing it's the scarlet berry pomander scent and it smells like my perfume love this candle i had to get a big one and then i got two things that i want to pack so first this was the reason i actually went into anthro everything was i think 50 percent. wait there was a deal i think everything was 30 percent off i went in for this so cute i love their scarves and there has like the cutest colorful scarves it took me so long to decide which one that i wanted but i ended up choosing this one i just needed a pop of color because a lot of the outfits that i'm packing for this trip are neutrals and dark so i wanted a scarf that was just like a fun pop of color i thought it would be nice and then i got this shirt i don't really know how i'm gonna style it yet i really hope that i like the way that it looks styled but it's so cute i couldn't pass it up it's connected by these like chain thingy looking things i just thought it would look so cute with like a black long sleeve underneath or something i don't know we'll play around with how i'm gonna style it now let's actually get to packing or cleaning first i literally cannot pack unless i clean and it's so weird like not being freezing cold in my apartment i'm so happy right now okay so what i'm thinking is i'm going to put everything that I know I want to pack on my bed or that I think I want to pack. I'm just going to put it on my bed to get it out of the closet. Great starting point. <laughs> Guys, I'm so scared of this. Okay, let's just do a quick transition. Okay, she's clean. She's organized semi. I have a lot of things out to help with my packing and whatnot. This is the situation we have going on right now. I feel like this is way too much. I have two piles of sweaters, two jackets right there. I have a pile of hats, scarves, another jacket, a little set, pants, sweater vests, layering shirts, and yeah, that's pretty much it. But obviously, like, this is not all coming with me. And also, I need to add other things in. I'm doing a ton of laundry right now. I just took one load out and I put another one in. So I have, like, some jeans and stuff in there. I feel like my outfits are all going to be pretty basic. In London, I just want to be warm. But obviously still look cute because I want to take Instagram pictures. Because, duh. So... I want cute outfits, but I want them to just be like easy, warm. I don't really know where to go from here, guys. Like, I'm honestly really tired, but I need to get this done because if I go to sleep with and not a thing packed, I'm going to be very, very, very upset. So, I don't know what to do now. Like, do I try outfits on? I really don't feel like doing that, but I feel like that is what needs to be done. Okay, excuse my appearance, but I'm trying on outfits right now. This first one I think is so cute. I just have on these low-rise baggy jeans with this brown sweater from Zara. It's so cute. And then I was thinking I want to bring this jacket just because it's going to be raining a lot of the days that we are there. And I feel like this leather jacket does great in the rain, so it'll be perfect. I just think this is so cute. And then I think I'm going to do my docks with this or just sneakers. I don't know. I'm gonna wear my docks on the plane since they're heavy and then I'm definitely gonna wear my new balances So like whatever I'm feeling at that time. I don't know I just kind of want to like have some outfits In the back of my head, but I'm like loosely planning them and then I'm just gonna bring like a ton of accessories And different things that I can like mismatch together But I like having the base of my outfits kind of just like down and like knowing what I'm gonna wear Oh my god, I just got spammed by this random boy no this random guy just texted me six separate texts the first one you are impossible to see he's right i am i don't even want to see myself <laughs> anyways it's a keeping london it's going to take everything i mean to not speak in a british accent i'm gonna try my best not to because i know that's probably so fucking annoying okay i'm sweating i need this off <laughs> Okay, this outfit is very, very basic, but I think it's cute. I love this coat. It's from Zara. And then I just have on this all black, black leather pants, black long sleeve turtleneck. I feel like this is just like classy, classic. I can't go wrong with these basic pieces. And I also feel like these are all three pieces that I could pair with other things. So that's what I always look for when I'm packing for a trip. 
pieces that could be versatile worn with other things that I'm bringing. Okay, this is the next outfit. Kind of cute. I don't know. My other jeans are currently drying on my drying rack, so I like have been trying everything out with this one pair. I really don't know why I'm struggling so hard putting outfits together tonight. This always happens to me when I'm like packing. But I got this sweater from Anthropology, like I showed you guys before, and I had it on with a black long sleeve underneath. But I felt like it looked weird. And I do like how this looks. But I feel like the jacket is like throwing me off. I just don't know what jacket to wear with it. I don't know if I hate this or like it. I can't tell. I'm also putting things in my packing cubes as we go. And I have faith that everything will come together. I don't know why I hate packing so much. It's like ridiculous. I sent my mom a picture of this. She was with me when I bought it and she said that I should return it. Let me know what you guys think. I don't know. I think maybe it needs to be styled differently. Maybe it's just not my style. I can't tell. I'm losing my mind. Okay, safe to say this sweater needs to go, I think. I don't know. I just feel like it makes me look boxy and it's just like not doing anything for me. And I don't know how to style it, so I don't like it anymore. Um, it was cool in theory. I don't know. <sighs> It's just not it's not my thing okay i need to move past this okay i decided that i am done trying things on and i'm just going to pack the basic things that i feel like i'm gonna need and then i'll put outfits together when i'm there because i feel like a lot of my outfits are gonna be just very basic lots of layers and i'll piece things together when i'm there like i can't do all of that right now it's it's just not happening <laughs> so we're just going to start trying to pack and figure that out but I realized that I never told you guys like any details of my trip like I said I would so like I said I'm going to London I'm so excited I've never been to the UK before and I've always always wanted to go there I just I can't believe that I'm actually going it doesn't feel real like I feel like every single time that I go on a trip it doesn't feel real until I'm like there even when I'm there sometimes I'm like am i really here like this does not feel real but i'm going i am so excited me and hannah are going together she convinced me to go actually it didn't take much convincing at all she just went like a month or two ago i would say and she absolutely loved it and really wanted to go back and asked if i wanted to go and i was like sure it really doesn't take much convincing for me to book a flight so here we are the hotel we're staying at so nice i'm so excited to be staying there you guys will have to stay tuned for all of the fun things that we do while we're there but basically we wanted to go during the holiday season because london just looks so beautiful during christmas time so that is really why we decided to go i feel like it's gonna be pretty similar to new york in a lot of ways but i'm excited to see the differences and I just love I love cities so much I feel like I never take it is pouring outside right now Jeez. um I feel like I never take winter trips like ever so that's why I'm so stuck on like what to pack and all that right now the closest thing to a winter trip I took was Iceland but I feel like even that was so different because it was very like adventurous like taking a trip in the winter time to another city is just like hard to pack for because trench coats like winter clothes are just heavy so it's like i don't want my shit to be overweight but it might be so i don't know i'm just like stressed out about that but it's gonna be fine everything's gonna work out i'm bringing a duffel bag and my big suitcase so yeah hopefully it's fine i want to get majority of my packing done tonight it's already freaking 10 30 that's why i was like okay i need to stop trying things on because it was just wasting my time i'm gonna do a pair of trousers probably like two pairs of jeans one pair of leather pants we're there for a week a little less than a week i'm gonna bring a couple of pairs of these these are literally my holy grail in the winter time they're fleece lined tights and i'm not even bringing any like skirts or anything like that but i like wearing these like under jeans and things because they're thinner than leggings but they're very very warm they're honestly warmer than leggings since they have the fleece so i'm gonna bring a couple of these and probably a pair of leggings too we'll see i'm just gonna i'm gonna pack a bunch of things and it will update you guys with how much i get done okay i made a lot of progress i can't really show you because frankie does not want to get up she doesn't want me to leave literally every single time that i pack for a trip she just attacks my luggage and then sits on it like this until i leave and like won't let me go in it because she doesn't want me to leave that's what i like to tell myself at least <laughs> we're gonna resume tomorrow i have a couple more things i need to do before my flight and we'll finish packing but as of right now i'm gonna go to sleep it's now midnight i said i was gonna finish at 11 but i just couldn't i couldn't stop i got into the groove of 
getting my shit together. I accidentally just woke up literally one minute before my appointment, but I'm about to run over there right now. I'm getting my nails done. I decided yesterday because I feel like they're going to be outgrown when I'm on my trip. Also, this one chipped, so I just decided I'm going to get them done super quick, so let's go do that. Okay, I just finished on my nail appointment. I ended up going with like a red French. I really honestly wanted to get red again, but I just had it. So I opted for red French. Looks cute. And now I'm walking to CVS because I have to pick up my birth control. I forgot about that and realized I ran out last night. So we're gonna go grab some because I get like three months at a time. So I always forget when like I'm already using the third month and I need to get some like travel size things so we're gonna do that i fully had an alarm set for 7 a.m and i remember being like okay i'll wake up at 7 30 and then i set another alarm next thing you know i wake up open my eyes 9 59 my nail appointment was at 10. I was like 15 minutes late, but they're always late whenever i have a 10 a.m appointment because that's when they open so i wasn't worried and they were literally like ready for me right when i walked in so it was fine but that stress me out you know when you like open your eyes and you know you're supposed to be up so it's just like a shock feeling i hate that feeling a lot so that's how i felt i'm also winded i can't breathe that's all for now <laughs> this whole video is like me just struggling i'm always struggling before a trip it's just it never is smooth sailing i don't know how people have their shit together before trips because i don't ever <laughs> Okay, I got home, I made myself coffee, I ate breakfast, I took a shower, and now I'm gonna blow out my hair so that hopefully it looks good for like the first half of my trip at least. Doing my hair just takes so long, so I like having it done for a trip. So I'm gonna blow it out. I've packed all my makeup, toiletries, jewelry, all of that fun stuff since I got home. Now all I really need to pack is my hair stuff and my carry-on bag, but we're doing great. It's three o'clock, I need to leave here at like 5.30. So yeah, doing amazing on time. I feel good. That's pretty much it. When I was at CVS, I bought myself kids melatonin because this was the only little pack that they had. And I hope that it works because I need to sleep on this flight tonight. <laughs> I bought this luggage scale at CVS. It's time to see if I overpacked or not. And if I didn't overpack and if I have room, I'm probably gonna end up putting like a hoodie in there or something. Cause I didn't bring a hoodie. I'm gonna wear one on the plane. I feel like I need a hoodie. Like how am I gonna not have one with me all week? You know? I'm nervous. I'm really, really nervous. Oh, it turned off. What did I do? Ah! This is so hard for no reason. Hello. Oh, it's in kg okay pounds no it says it's 52 oh fuck me fuck me okay i might need to take something out me maybe i'll put a hoodie in yeah funny that was a really brave thought really brave i think i'm gonna put this in my duffel i feel like whenever i wait at home i get to the airport and it's like less it weighs less than I weighed it and then I'm always like, damn, I could have brought that. It's saying it's like literally 50 on the dot. I don't know if I like take something out in case this thing isn't accurate or I just like say fuck it and hope for the best. I don't know, but hey, it's 50. Woo, yay. Okay, we're done. The packing's complete. I just waited again and my luggage was like 48 pounds. So hopefully we're good. I don't know. I'm praying for the best, but I'm so freaking excited to be going to London. I'm gonna leave for the airport in like 20 minutes, so I'm going to end this video here. Thank you guys so much for preparing with me. I feel like this was semi-chaotic. I don't even know. I can never be an aesthetic packer, ever. Like, I don't know how people do it. I just hate packing, and it always is just disaster shit shows. So I hope you guys enjoyed coming along in the process, and I will see you guys tomorrow in London. What the hell? I'm so freaking excited. Okay, stay tuned.